We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition. John Means will be on the mound for game four. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, in a day and age where we don't see very many complete games, six really good innings in his last start to pick up the win, and I think they'll be happy if he can duplicate that again in this one. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. And now the O's have his terrific speed at first to contend with right out of the chute. Hey, Dan, this guy's having a monster series on the road. Were you aware of the home road splits? I think every player is, and sometimes this is a matter of being either comfortable on the mound or comfortable in a batter's box in some visiting ballparks, and some guys, quite frankly, like it better on the road than they do at home. Guys, the Orioles, as they begin play here tonight, they came out on the losing end last time out and are in a bit of a skid. In fact, they've lost seven of their last ten. Yeah, Matty V, it hasn't been the best of times, D-Roll. They've lost the first three games of this set at home, and the last thing you want to do is you get swept in a four-game series at home. You need to win this one. Yeah, it can't happen. Can't get swept four games in a row on your home turf. Watch for the manager to make – he's going to make moves, and he's going to make them quick. I don't know what they're going to be pitching, hit and run. Something's happening today. Opposite field to left. Uh, this will hang up just long enough to be run down in shallow left for a tough second out. Well, we've mentioned the conditions aren't ideal with the rain coming down, and that can make every play a little bit of an adventure. You really have to concentrate, and he did there to haul it down. Driven nicely into the gap. And the run will score as the Sox are off to a 1-0 lead. Man, this is a continuation of the great at-bats we saw in last night's game when they lit it up, seemingly scoring at will. Now that double brings in a run for an early lead here. They just keep on keeping on. Rafael Devers the next to bat as he swings and lifts it in the air out to left field. Schwarber is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. But a run will score in the inning on this RBI double. Pedro Martinez, a right-handed native of the Dominican Republic, will be the starter. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, in this day and age where we're used to seeing a lot of home runs and pitchers not going very deep in a game, how about this guy? ERA in the low ones. That's not an easy thing to do. He can strike people out, but he can also get him out via the ground ball, the fly ball. Judging by his stats this year, he is having a ridiculously good season up to this point. Made a miss on the off-speed pitch that time. Jemai Jones is retired for the first out here in the bottom half of the first. Here it comes. Austin Hayes stands in as he can't connect here. 0-1. Let's get it going, boys. Somebody's loose, hitting 98 with ease in the first inning. But good hands over there at first, and that becomes out number two. The pitch. The pitch. Liner in there for a base hit. Legs churning. He's headed for second. Around second now and headed for third. The second this thing got past the outfielder, you knew it was at least a double, possibly a triple, but he turns on the afterburners and is safely in the third. Trey Mancini is in with two away now as he looks at a called strike one. And this is a base hit as the run will come in to score, and they get that run back here in the first. Boy, there are big RBIs and big base hits the row, but none more than with two outs. A big two-out knock right there. Not only ties things up, but keeps the inning going as well. Yeah, just a great approach right there by the batter. You never know when your number's going to be called. You always wanted to pass the baton to the next guy behind you. Take the donut off your bat and trust in the teammate. Looking at a fastball to end the inning. It's a run on two hits here for Baltimore. Second inning upcoming from Baltimore, but first, here's Heidi Watney with a little bit more on the forecast. Second inning set to go, and that'll bring up the shortstop and one of the better two strike hitters in baseball, Xander Bogarts. High in the air and deep to straightaway left. Gone to lead off the inning. 
Well, if I was the manager, I would tell my pitchers to work around this guy. I mean, he's hit three home runs against them in this series. What more do they need to see? Four, five? Jeez. Enough is enough. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Santander's got it, and there's one away. Next will be the designated hitter, Michael Chavis, as he enters this one with an absurdly high batting average. Definitely one of the most dangerous hitters in the league these days. Hit hard up the middle, and that finds its way through for a base hit. Nice execution right there, Dan. Kept his front shoulder in, kept his hands inside the baseball, and ripped the base hit up the middle. And if you're a pitcher right there, you can't get discouraged. Sometimes, even when you make a good pitch, the ball is going to find a hole somewhere. That one right up the middle. And here's the catcher, Kevin Ploiecki. Galvis has it to second for one. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Red Sox get a run on the solo shot by the X-Man, Xander Bogarts. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. And he fouls this one off. Kyle. On its way, the 0 1 pitch. Now a changeup locks him up as he looks at strike three called, one away. In now for the O's, Michael Franco. They off for him yesterday, but back out there for this one. First pitch on its way. And that's by him. It's 0 and 1. Woo -wee. That was some smoke right there. High fire right on by. And it's quickly 0 and 2. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. Wow, talk about being efficient. How about Batting six it. pitches, two Not strikeouts? Doesn't get Freddy. much better than that. Freddie Galvis stands in as he looks at a called strike. Man, that's seven straight strikes to start this inning. He's got a chance at an immaculate inning. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. So it's back to the top of the order now. And up next, one of the terrific talents in the game, Mookie Betts. Now the first pitch. Back up the middle. And this is going to get on through into center, a leadoff hit. So he's aboard again with his second hit of the game here in the top of the third. And his total currently best on the ball club through these first six or so weeks of the young season. In now, Johnny Damon. As they take a look at his strike on the outside corner, it's 0-1. Coming down in buckets, cats and dogs, insert metaphor here, and the forecast is not showing any signs of relief. You know, one of the big issues is player safety, and right now this field is getting sloppy, wet, Matt, and I don't know how much more rain this field can the take. David Ortiz. Up to the plate now is David Ortiz. That's a strike to throw down. Not in time. He's safe at third as they pull off the double steal. One pitch. Betts at third. Damon stands at second. No outs. Oh, and ouch. That one drilled him. Throw to first, but he's safe. And now the stadium's attention turns back to the man on the mound. Now back. Left field. Here's J.D. Martinez. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Hayes is there, and that should be deep enough to score the run. On to first, and they get the double play. Next up is Rafael Devers. He flew out in his last debut. 
Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last AB. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the game. Well, the side is retired as they make the play. Pedro Severino digs in at the plate. He starts off the inning against a guy who struck out the side last inning. How do they get to him here? I'm not sure, Matt, that they want to stay as patient. He's been throwing a lot of strikes. They might want to start swinging a little bit earlier in the count. Fouled off. Wow, he's cruising right now out there. Four straight punch outs and working on number five. Swing and a miss. Five straight strikeouts now, and there's one gone. Now better. Jumai Jones will stand in for the second time now as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing in one. You have to understand as the hitter right here, pitcher on the mound wants a quick inning. Anything over the heart of the plate, probably got to pull the trigger on. The wind up and the 0 1. Hit back up the middle. And that'll get on through into center, and he's got himself a one out hit. Ready now for Baltimore. Austin Hayes hit it hard but lined out in his first at bat. No balls and a strike to count. That's taken. Now it's 0-2. Third inning here. Three to one our score. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger and there are two away. Well you can tell by their approach that they're going to go up there and try to be aggressive off this guy but he's taking full advantage of that. He's pounding the zone with strikes and right now we're seeing a lot of swings and misses and a lot of strikeouts and no walks either. Martinez gets under it and makes the catch to end the inning. Orioles leave one. They still trail it here three to one. Xander Bogarts. He'll try to get it going here to begin the fourth. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. Hit to short. Galvis is there. And the off balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. Next to stand in is Marwin Gonzalez. Flew out last time up. Line drive, and that's a base hit into center field. He'll get it into second. And he'll reach second now with one away. So here's Michael Chavis now. Strike taken to throw. He's well behind the play. That's an easy stolen base. Oh, and one count and the pitch. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. Looked like he was going to wait him out, see if he was going to come over the heart of the plate. Well, newsflash, he is, and this hitter is going to adjust his batting gloves, and he better be ready in the box. Hit hard on the ground is short. Galvis on the slide. It's in time. That grounder was hard hit and sometimes the runner at third will have to hold on a ball like that but he was off on contact and they opted to take the out at first instead. So two gone now here in the Red Sox fourth and into hit next it'll be the catcher Kevin Plowecki. Just able to get a piece of that for strike one. You got to be careful with this guy here he can really handle the bat even though there are two outs he might try to drop one down for a base hit. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0-2. After fouling off the second one, I got to step out of the box, adjust my batting gloves, and tell myself there's no chance he's tripling up on that pitch. Well, the shortstop's got him played perfectly as he takes this in for the third out. So one run on one hit, no errors, and no one left on base. To the bottom of inning number four we go. The Red Sox four, and the Orioles one. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And striding forward, the designated hitter, Trey Mancini. This is where the pressure starts to build a little bit on an offense. It's not late enough. I mean, you don't have to start panicking right now. But this is where you're looking for someone to light a spark to get back in this game. And here's a fastball called for strike one. 
Not an easy thing to do to fill up the strike zone and be successful no doing it. How about this guy so far in this one? 100% of his first pitches have been for strikes. Got him. And that's eight strikeouts now for him in the ballgame. Well, he certainly wasn't intimidated on the mound right there. He had to stare down a really good hitter. And instead of working around the zone, he challenged him with three straight good pitches. I like that he didn't give his opponent too much credit. Anthony Santander comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. Fouled away. There's another pitch for a strike, and this guy's really attacking hitters well tonight, being aggressive early on. And if he continues to throw strikes like he is, he's going to have a pretty good night. Another 0-2 home. Oh, and he's really got the strikeout pitch working now as he notches number nine in the ball game. That's his second strikeout of the game. I wouldn't be surprised if a coach finds him in the dugout and gives him a little talk about shortening up and putting the ball in play. Good things tend to happen when you do that in these kinds of conditions. To the plate now, Kyle Schwarber. As with two away, he'll swing and miss at a first pitch fastball for strike one. He's 0 for 1 thus far. High in the air into shallow left center. And no trouble for him as he makes the catch to end the inning. Three up, three down for the Orioles. They trail it 4 to 1. New inning set to get underway, and that'll bring up Mookie Betts. Third baseman in tight, protecting the bunt, the first pitch. Back up the middle, and a base hit, so he goes after the first pitch he sees, and he's on to open up the inning. I mean, there's no seeker right now. There's a fight at the bat rack. Everybody wants up at the plate right now. They're feeling frisky. They're all pulling the trigger early, and it's working. Blake now Johnny Damon he offers at it and hits it in the air to left Schwarber comes in a few steps as he hauls it in for the first out so a runner at first with one out now and that'll bring up David Ortiz from the stretch pitch out nothing doing. Now the 1-0 is offered at and missed for the first strike. Good speed at first and good speed with a guy at the dish. It's going to be tough to double up these guys. If you're an infielder, you've got to get rid of it quick. Ground ball sent back up the middle. The second for one. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. Red Sox go down quietly as they hold on to a 4-1 to one lead. Welcome back to Baltimore as we send you down to check in with Heidi Watney. Matt, I had a chance to discuss the state of the Orioles offense with their manager between innings. And one thing he mentioned to me was the lack of discipline he's seeing out of their at-bats right now. He said they've been chasing at pitches out of the zone all game, which obviously doesn't usually lead to good results. Until they start being more selective with their swings, he said they will continue to struggle. Okay, thank you, Heidi. Yeah, I'm not sure what the game plan is today. Too many early swings. They got to be a little bit more patient at the plate. Popped up. Bogarts settles under it near second. One away. The batter. So yet another strong outing for him tonight as we show you the league leaders in ERA. And as you see, he's right up there among league leaders in that department. 
Well, there it is. This one is going to be delayed as the crew chief has made the call to suspend action. You know, Matt, I just get the feeling this isn't going to be a very long delay. And we do have some clearing sky, so I think both of these guys possibly will go back out. Galvis yep. behind 0-2. Fifth inning here in a four to one ball game. And it's fouled away. And he struck him out. So double digits now, 10 strikeouts for him thus far. So next to bat will be Pedro Severino. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Swung on and missed for the first strike. And he fouls this one off. Fouled off. The wind up and the 0-2 pitch. Fouled away. Ready with another 0-2. And it's fouled away. That's a real nice location with that fastball up and in on the hands. Hard to do much with that because a hitter really can't extend his arms very easily. And yet another strikeout here. His 11th of the ball game, and this one ends the inning. Travis Lincolns takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. Hit hard on the ground to short. Fielded by Galvis. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. Here now is Rafael Devers. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. Popped him up. Jones is under this one. And yeah, that's out number two. Xander Bogarts will stand in here hoping to duplicate what he did back in the second inning as we flash you back to take another look at his solo home run that helped get this offense rolling. Lined hard to center field. And Hayes will make the catch. This side is retired. Down. Now to the plate, Jumai Jones. He'll get his side started in the inning, and Dan, so far, they've been stifled offensively since the first inning. Boy, they sure have, Matt. They came out of the gates and got hot right away, but whatever was going for them pretty much has disappeared. We'll see if they can wake it back up. And a check swing here as he couldn't help himself, and it's ruled strike two. Uh, and he's just rolling right now, and even dozen strikeouts for him in the ballgame. I always like watching pitchers that attack with their fastballs until there's a reason to start mixing it up. He hasn't needed many of the secondary pitches so far in this one, and there was another good fastball for a strike out there. And very quickly there, they're two gone to start the inning. The first baseman, number six. Ryan Mountcastle is at the plate now as he looks at strike one. You know, over the course of a full season, you're going to have some clunkers, and this certainly looks like one. By the look on the manager's face, he's going to probably call a meeting after this. And he's got another one. 13 strikeouts now, and the inning is over. First pitch of the A.B. now. Swing and a ball hit well to the right side, but this will get into the crowd. The wind up and the 0 1. That's lifted the other way out to left. Schwarber has him played perfectly as he puts it away for round number one. Now battle. Next up for the Red Sox, Michael Chavis. He bounced out last time up. Yeah, I understand that, Matty, but this guy's got burner wheels down the first baseline. I don't think he even concerns himself with that. He has to put it on the ground. That's part of what makes him successful. Owen won the count. Pitch on the way. 
A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. And it's gone as they add still another. So a solo shot here to left center field. Number 11 for him on the season as they stretch the lead to 5 1. That's what I love about baseball. The pitch before he looked absolutely foolish, but they gathered himself, stayed with the plan, and the next pitch he goes yard. Every pitch is another chance. Into the box now, Kevin Ploiecki. Popped him up. Franco has a play. And he makes the catch for the second out. So the Red Sox lineup turns over and to the plate, Mookie Betts. He's working on a three hit ball game right now. He grounds it sharply to third. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Ladies and gentlemen, please join the Red Sox are on the board thanks to the solo home run. Bottom of Craig Kimbrell comes on to pitch from bullpen now in an unexpected move. He's their closer, so it's a surprise to see him here in the seventh. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. Sends that one out of play for strike one. This is why the manager pencils these guys in the middle of the order. Big spot. Time for them to get back in this game with a couple quality ABs. And he fouls this one off. Now another 0-2. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. Boy, there's nothing better from a pitcher standpoint than watching that high fastball. A high piece of cheese swung at and missed. That pitch looks so inviting to hit, but it's awfully tough to put in play. This is on the ground over to first. Right to Gonzalez. And that's the second out. Now with the plate is Kyle Schwarber. Third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. Seventh inning here in a 5 to 1 ball game. Behind 0 and 2 now. They haven't played perfectly as it's hit on the ground. Gonzalez is there. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. One, two, three, go the Orioles. They're down here five to one. Sean Armstrong has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. First pitch on its way. Swing and he puts a charge into this one. High and deep. And you can't forget about it. This ball is gone. And we'll employ the use of our show track technology to get a better idea of that home run. And you see it there, 111 miles an hour off the bat. He certainly squared that one up well. In the air, down the line and left. Schwarber is right there as he puts it away. No problem for the first down. And that'll bring up J.D. Martinez. One run in and one gone so far in this inning. There's a drive high in the air and deep to left center field. And goodbye. This one ain't coming back. Another excellent swing right there. That's multiple home runs in the same inning. Watch yourself. You're missing over the heart of the plate. So they'll go to the bullpen now, and it'll be the left-hander here to face the upcoming left-handed batter. And he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. And that brings in Xander Bogarts. Prior outings against Wade LeBlanc. He comes in hitting right at a 300 clip. Swung on and hit pretty well out to deep left field. Gone! Three homers in the same inning. This has become an offensive explosion. I need a mound visit. Here's Marwin Gonzalez now. Fly ball out toward left center field. Schwarber finds some space out there for the catch to retire the cell. So they get three runs here, all coming via solo home runs. Leading off. Yes, he'll take a look at a strike right down the middle. It's 0-1. Hey, there's an old saying in baseball. You need to take a strike in this spot. Well, he got one there. Now he just needs to find a way to get on. And 
a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. And now Freddie Galvis no hits to this point swing and a miss and he's behind 0 and 1. Hey if you're able to blow a first pitch fastball by a guy got to believe that pitch is coming again right here. Fouled off. Struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say. His third punch out of the game. Next up, Pedro Severino trying to avoid becoming the third strikeout victim of the inning here. No balls in one strike. Swing and a ball hit on the ground. One run on three hits and no errors for the Orioles so far. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. Got him. And he goes down on strikes for the third time. Riding in is Michael Chavis. He'll start things off in the top of the ninth as they look for a little insurance. First pitch of the A.B. on its way. Lifted down the line and left. The pitch. Hard liner to center field. That gets down. He's got himself a base hit. Dan, right here you see a situation where no doubles defense can, comes back to bite you. As a pitcher, are you even aware when guys are playing a foot off the track? I'll be honest with you, D-Roy. You're so Oh, and it eats him up a bit. There's one. Now yeah. it'll be Mookie Betts. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result as his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll to. Hayes there as he had to travel the ways, but he makes the catch deep in the alley for the second out. Next, it'll be Johnny Damon. It's been a two for four effort for him so far in the ballgame. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Sent on the ground out to second. Throw to second for the force out, and the side is retired. Back to the top of the Oriole lineup now, and stepping in, Jumai Jones. Starting things for his side in the ninth as they face the improbable odds of trying to come back in this one. Yeah, not a lot of hope for them at this point. But these guys know these bats still count, at least for their own stats. You can't mill in your chances as a professional. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. Now the first pitch. Austin Hayes is next as he finds himself behind 0-1. You rarely see a pitcher of this quality throw one right down the middle. And man, as a hitter, probably a good chance you're not going to see that pitch again. And an off-balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow. First offering, Ryan Mountcastle is at the plate now, and he takes a cold strike. You know, a lot of guys don't like to swing at the first pitch. That might be the case with this one right here. On to first, and that is going to conclude the festivities here tonight. Man, they've already put the all-time winning streak record in their rearview mirrors. But with every win, it gets further and further away. We could say this now. The this is one of the greatest teams in the history of well, baseball. Eight to Boston one is the final Eight tonight. Boston took hit. the lead in the no second error. inning and they rode that until the very end. Pedro Martinez.